Hello and welcome back to Cartier Fragrance. I'm Carissa. I'm Tierney. <laughs> and today's video is about comforting iris and violet scents. So first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for those that are subscribers that come back faithfully every week or two when we film. We are going to be trying to launch two videos a week. Um, so far, this is our first one of this week, so we're hoping to film again either tomorrow evening or maybe, probably not Sunday. I'm actually going to Philly to do some makeup for a friend of mine that's a client. So anyway, so let's get back to the video. Um, so thank you so much for subscribing and giving us your opinions in the comments, um, telling us your sense of the day. So go ahead and take time to comment down below what your scent of the day is. Okay, so today's video, as you can tell from the thumbnail, is comforting iris and violet scents, okay? So something a lot of people don't realize is that violet and iris are actually sisters in the plant world, okay? They have a very similar compound background as far as their molecules are concerned. So, to kick the list off, we have two fragrances that I, that I actually borrowed from work. These are testers that we have at Olfactif. As always, if you guys do not know, Olfactif is a subscription box company. I do work for Nodology and Olfactif. They are sister companies here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And Nodology is known for independent fragrances that we carry in-house. And we also have a whole bunch of candles and soaps and boutiques and, I'm sorry, boutique gifts. And what else do we have there that you guys like? Lip balms, we have like facial masks, like sheet masks. We have like sugar scrubs, like those like fancy like whipped ones yes. that are in like the little things. Yes. And then of course, Olfactif is the other sister company that we carry niche and indie brands from around the world. So to get this list kicked off, hold that please. Oh. We're gonna start with Goutal Etoile du Nuit. Okay, so that means star of the night. I think, let me see. I place the stars are star blind. of a night, stars are blind. Did you oh. joke? Were you joking? <laughs> I told you this was called Stars Were Blind from Paris, like from Paris Hilton's song. <laughs> no, it's called Star of the Night. So you literally lied. It, well, I didn't lie. I thought you, you knew I was joking. Lied. Oh my gosh. You really think there's a person called Stars Are Blind? It, it would be from Paris Hilton, of course. She didn't coin it. I think she did coin it. I've never heard anybody else say Stars Are Blind. I have. It actually doesn't make any sense. Stars yes, Are Blind? Does. How are they blind? Like celebrities. <laughs> okay, well they are blind. Half the time. Okay, so Goutal... A 12 June wheat is raspberry, rose, and iris. Okay. Um, so iris, a lot of people don't actually realize this in the fragrance community. Iris, the flowers, you cannot get, you cannot extract the scent from the iris. It's actually coming it's actually from the rhizome the or root. the bulb. Very good. Did you know that? I did. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> so that is the orris butter that you see sometimes in fragrances, or if it ever says just the word like orris, that actually means iris. Okay. There's actually three kinds of irises. There's iris. What was that guy doing? Okay, he was like just lifting up his shirt and everybody was looking at his stomach for the alien to pop out. <laughs> My word, maybe he has radiation poisoning. Wow, okay, let's bring this back together. Okay, so there's three kinds of irises that are usually used in perfumery. There is Iris Polita, which is the uh, mauve colored iris. There is Iris Germanica, I believe it's called. That is the purple one that we mostly know. And then there's Iris. were white. Iris Florentina is actually the white iris. Okay. And so iris and violet, I think, are very good to be worn on days where you either want to be like comforted or feel cozy. Or if it's raining outside, I just always thought that like iris and violet scents, scents, scents go good in rainy weather. Okay, so this one I think is very easy to wear, okay? It's not going to be mind-blowing. To me, it kind of smells like lipstick on, um, lipstick vibes from Juliet Has a Gun. What do you think? Yeah, it definitely on? smells like... It's very pretty it's easy to wear. Like, now, it could just be because you told me it was like raspberry, but part of it almost has like notes of like... Bottoms up? <laughs> kind of like... Wow, you just interrupted. <laughs> I'm joking. Some of it kind of has notes of like jam, almost. Oh, you can smell jam? A little bit, but only knowing that it's raspberry. Like there's almost like a fancy... Like, it almost smells like a fancy like raspberry dish a little bit. You oh, know, I get that. Yeah. You know how some drinks, I went to this one mm. place, it's called the Canning House, and it's in Kingston, I think. Kingston, Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah, and it's not really, Jamaica. really, it was really fancy, not fancy, but it was very, like, artsy on the inside, and they had these drinks that were, like, really, like, Wait, where crazy. did you go? Where, where did you it was go with, with Emma and James. Oh, okay, I was not there. I was like, yeah, it was called place? the Canning House, and I got, like, a rose. It was something, like... She's gonna be 16, by the way, so she doesn't mean alcohol drinks. Oh, course. no, it was, like, it was a hot drink. I don't know what it was specifically, but it was like rose sage. Oh, and it was like fancy. a hot drink with like, and it had like leaves in it. Hmm. And this kind of reminds me of something along the lines of okay. that. Like something very like fancy. You know what I mean? Like a kind of fancier to me like, this... drink or like a fancier like product. Yeah. To me this kind of reminds me of, this isn't going to be super creative, but it kind of reminds me of 
like a 1950s movie star, I think because of the lipstick vibe. So back in the day, mm -hmm. and even up to like maybe now, sometimes you can still get it if you're buying a makeup that is meant to be like old fashioned or nostalgic. But back in the day, they put an ingredient in there and that's why we, um, we actually think of the notes of iris with lipstick and powdery notes because they put it in makeup for a long time. It actually kind of smells like a uh, Cody Airspun, that powder. Oh that's yeah, it does, for, okay. They actually make perfume. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, Cody. Yeah, they've been yeah. around for a long time. I was like, yeah, Cody? Like yeah, they're, they're like a million dollar company. It smells company. like they're just like setting powder a little bit too. It has okay. like powdery note. So I also wrote that this is easy to wear when you want to smell feminine, but not necessarily sexy. Okay, this is not, I don't think it's sexy. I mean, everybody thinks Ooh, sexy is different. That. I don't think it's sexy to you. It's more like. I think it's more feminine and like. Yeah, it's light soft. and airy. Like, oh. Yes. Okay, so moving on to Yesterday Haze. Okay, so I have a, a little story about this first. Okay, okay. So Yesterday Haze by Imaginary Authors. Oh, let me see that. Imaginary Authors. Yesterday Haze. The notes are fig, iris, cream, tonka, tree bark, walnut bitters, and orchard dust. Okay, so when I first smelled this at Olfactif when I started working there like two years ago, two and a half years, actually almost three years ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when I smelled this, I have to say that, I don't want to say it like brought a, an actual tear to my eye, but it did actually make me kind of like, Oh, we could feel very here. reminiscent. This reminded me of when I grew up in the Loma Linda Redlands, Yucaipa area of Southern California. This reminds me of how the air would smell when you started driving away from like the bigger towns and cities and you were by the orange groves, okay? So the orange groves were a lot, they were like all over the place in Southern California. And then like other states, they just like chopped them all down to make houses, okay? To make housing tracks and the American dream, okay? So... When I smell this, it, it just like brought me back to my childhoods. We would like run around in the orange groves and play. My sister actually, Courtney, and I found this huge glass vase that somebody had like blown with obviously like a glass blower. And it was like in the orchard grove dirt itself, like buried deep and it's like swirly and it's like pretty good size. It's like pretty big. And so like I have it now, but then- You do? We, it's in the bedroom on daddy's uh, dresser. We would take turns for years. like. So I would have it for like a year and a half, and then she would have it for like two years, and I would have it again. Anyways, so that was like a little story. So this, to me, smells like Southern California. It is, I will tell you my notes that I wrote. It's a woody iris with dry walnut shell vibe. Like you can definitely smell the walnut in there. And there's also a fig and whipped cream note. To me, this is like cozy and reminiscent of Southern California, like I said. So to me, this is like a cozy scent. That smells really good. I think it, it actually fills up a room. Iris is also considered a fixative, which means it helps your fragrance last longer when it's in there. Um, what do you think me, about this? She didn't love this at first. To me, it smells exactly at first, like the very first <laughs> scent, like the first, first <laughs> scent. It smells exactly like paint that went bad. Like that kind of like I don't get that at all. Weird. It's like the apple. What is that paint called? It's like apple barn. Apple. Oh, are you talking about like cracked paint? I think not, like Valspar, like not house paint, like like acrylic, like just oh okay. Painting. You mean like it's called Apple Barrel, Apple Craft, Apple Wagon. Anyways, you can find that paint like Walmart and it else. smells yeah. like when it goes bad, like the first like kind of almost off note, but then it kind of goes into like I think like a leather. I don't know. It's not my favorite. I don't really like it. She doesn't love it. Okay, she's. It's, it's not bad. Love. It's just not for me. So I like it. I'll, I would say also, once again, I don't think this is like sexy, but I think it's comforting and it's cozy. I think it's it kind of rustic, does... maybe. Rustic? Okay. Maybe? I don't really know. Maybe from the... Okay. So that was that one. So the next one we're going to talk about is Laura Blue from Guerlain. Okay. So as many of you know over on Instagram, I love Guerlain. It's my favorite designer house. Um, I have a very strong connection to it from my mom. She like grew up wearing Shalimar. I grew up wearing Samsara. My oldest daughter, Ava, likes... Which one does she like? The Gourmand Coquine, which is really hard to find. Oh, I'm yeah. actually on... A waiting list from Place Vendôme, which is in Belgium, I believe. I'm on a waiting list to get a full size bottle of that, which I think is like 360, which is a lot, but it comes with like the bottle that you can fill, like the B bottle you can fill. It comes with the actual flanker of it, and it's like packaged. What's nice, the one like, that I liked? You liked the French Kiss one, which is also discontinued. It was that one like was like raspberry like, notes. Yeah, they had think, raspberry. Yeah, that one was so good. I think you like fruity notes. Okay. It was like Perfect. I don't know. I have a sample in my door still in the car. It's probably bad. It's like there's like a little bit left. No, it smells great. Okay. I used it recently. It smells good still. So I had to move around. Okay. <laughs> so this from Guerlain. I have had this for probably five years and it still smells. I think it smells better than when I bought it. Laura Blue and you can tell like the juice has changed. It was not this ambery when I first received it. The juice. The. Oh, I love this so much. 
So this has notes. I'm not going to go over all the notes because there's a lot, but there's actually iris and violet in this. Heliotrope. I know there's anise, some seed. Caraway, not caraway. What was the other one with the seed? I think uh, coriander. And then there is, I believe, leather, suede. There's like a whole bunch of stuff in this. But to me, don't waste it, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, she's like, Poof. okay, so if you're going to wear it today, just wear it today. Oh my it smells very good. It's very powdery. It's very vintage smelling. It's not vintage in that like sharp way where it's gone bad. It's just very like it does not smell like anything nowadays. It's very old world to me. And I just think it's like a really beautiful. I, I used to think there was peach in this, but there's no peach in this. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it has a suede softness to it. And yeah. There's also, it's like slightly spiced. Yeah. I think from the me, anise. Yeah. It smells like Coke. Not mm. not the drug. Whoa. Okay. When would you have smelled cocaine? It just has that Coca. gritty Coke smell. <gasps> I'm getting in um, trouble on YouTube for saying cocaine. Well, you. I'm saying the soda. <laughs> this is an educational We're talking video. talking about okay? the soda. The soda. Well, well, they did used to put that in, in the 80s. Coca Cola. I know, crazy. In the 80s. I thought it was before that. You're right, it was the 1800s. Yes. I was Late wrong. Late 1800s, yes. Okay, uh, anywho, <laughs> it kind of smells like that on my arm a little bit, because isn't there cherry? I feel like Coke has no. like notes of cherry. There's licorice. Cherry in this. I think you're thinking of licorice. Isn't, that, what's, isn't that like a licorice vibe in, or like prune? Maybe that's Dr. Pepper. Okay, we're getting off track. <laughs> I don't know my own, but it kind of smells like that at first, and then it goes into like powdery and whatnot. Yeah, to me it's... It's uh, very magical and like pillowy. Like if you picture like a soft pillow, it's like just kind of gives you a big hug. I just love it. It's so cozy. It's not sexy. So I think some people might even think it's like old lady smelling. What do you yeah. think? Do you think it smells old lady or no? Maybe like uh, a hot, like, rich like, old lady. Mm, no. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like a young, I'm like a young adult. I think they would think, think it was retro, so right? Younger and a little bit just like more unique but on okay. an older person it would definitely just smell like a classic old lady person i think am i an old lady okay Almost. i mean i am 44 so you got like five more years <laughs> then you're old hey that's when my um hot grandma body comes out okay wait five years no no no. well that makes ava almost 25 so hey. grandma oh i can't imagine being a grandma uh but i mean technically you're mid-aged <laughs> like middle-aged that is true. Oh, the other thing that's in this is, I believe, Madagascar vanilla or vanilla. So this is the thing I was going to say. Okay, when you come on YouTube and people talk about bourbon vanilla and they say, oh, it gives it a really boozy quality, here's some time to get educated, okay? Bourbon vanilla is not the bourbon whiskey with vanilla added. Bourbon vanilla is found off the coast of Madagascar in a small island that is now what it actually used to be called the Bourbon Islands. Now it's called Reunion, Reunion, okay? Reunion Islands, and so when people say, oh, the bourbon vanilla gives it a boozy quality, that is not what you're smelling, okay? It's not bourbon. Um, sometimes vanilla can give off, like, maybe a boozy quality, but it's not from bourbon. Okay, that was our 2.0. Okay, so the final one we're going to talk about, which I'm very excited about, okay, um, is a boulevard called Sunset by Maurice Roussel, and this is, in my mind, a hidden gem, Okay. I don't see people talk about this a lot on, for Grand Chicot, it has like a 3.76 rating, which I, this is like the best 3.76 rating perfume I've ever smelled. Um, it is very beautiful. It's edgy and, and kind of industrial smelling, but not in like a way that you can't wear. It's, it's very wearable to me. Isn't that it so has... nice? Oh, this also reminds me of our trip. Do you remember where for I got Washington, this? To DC and I got to visit Ariel Shoshana's store and this is actually where I bought this. was from Ariel Shoshana. And she had so many fabulous things in there. And I kind of wanted it because I'm from California. So I thought it was kind of cool. But then I kind of smelled everything else. Everything else was, you know, like, okay to fair to, like, beautiful. But I just thought this was kind of edgy and cool. And I could see myself wearing it year-round, okay? So this has notes of almond, violet, leather, sandalwood. There's bergamot and vanilla. So to me, this kind of smells like any city, any, like, big city that you're in, whether it's uh, New York City, LA so it kind of smells like after it rains and it was kind of warm outside maybe not scorching heat but warm outside so it kind of has like a rained on concrete smell but not super mineral if that, that makes sense cool. it's also like it's just very leathery and the iris in here is beautiful um actually not the iris the violet there is no iris but actually wow. violet and iris can smell very similar Boo. so I know but yeah okay so I said that this was a leather but powdery violet with a soft and warm woody base. It smells, oh, I already said that part. It smells like a city after it rains. <laughs> I think that's everything. Those are the four scents that I like to wear. Um, there are obviously um, many fabulous uh, fragrances out there that have iris in there, like Prada. There is Frederick Mall makes a beautiful one. But these are the ones I have and the ones I've worn that I know that I could talk about. 
Okay, so for the final thing that we're going to talk about today, we usually bring a beauty product, but today we're just going to talk about the candle, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you want to do the beauty product? Sure. I couldn't remember what highlighter we did last time. Okay, we'll do the beauty product. But first, we're going to talk about this candle, okay? So some people love perfume and not candles, but I feel like if you love scents, you probably love candles, okay? So here at in Scranton at Nodology, where I work, we make fabulous candles that get shipped all over the world, okay? We ship these to Canada. We ship them to... Anyway, anyway, I was going to say Guam, but I don't think we shipped them to, to Guam, oh. Canada, and within the U.S. We actually have had people order from Honolulu before. Oh, cool. So this is called Scranton in the Fall. Okay, so this has notes of, I think, um, golden pear, nutmeg, cinnamon, and apple, and it smells so good. And I feel like this is a crowd pleaser. So these are, I believe, $26. Um, they, I think they burn for like 55 hours, and it's just beautiful. So if you're looking for any The Office fans, you can give them one of these candles. Okay. And then finally, the beauty product that we're going to use. Okay, so this came in my boxy charm. I probably would buy it again. Ciate Dewy Highlight. I never know how to do this with the thing. Are those the dogs? Is that I... noise? Okay. Okay, so this I did not like at first because it has a tacky texture to it that kind of stays tacky to the touch the whole time you wear it. So you have to get used to it. But this is perfect for people that either don't wear a lot of makeup or if you're like have mature skin or you want to give your skin a boost of yuzu and dragon fruit extract in the winter time which is going to be upon all of us soon this is perfect for that all of us. for most of us did i say all of us yeah. not for people that live in florida i guess so this one is i don't know if you can see that yeah you can see it it is so pretty and this will stay that beautiful sheen it's not sparkly it's not glittery it's a sheen it will stay this beautiful sheen like all day long and when golden hour comes and your cheekbone gets hit, oh, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Okay. So that is our video for today. Hopefully we weren't too all over the place. We got a little distracted by the guys across the street, but they're wrapping it up now. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. My question stopped. Oh.